The first big snowstorm of 2006 finally hit New York, so I woke up to this. Sup guys, I know I haven't been on this channel in a while, but uh, I've been wanting to do a vlog channel, never got around to it, so I'm gonna change this channel into a vlog channel. So if you would like to get to know me better, see what's going on in my life, then this is the place to do it. So this is my first vlog, the big snowstorm of 2016 in New York City. It's been really, really warm this year, not as much rain as I would have hoped. Uh, but it's never been really that cold and today everything changes. We're supposed to get about 12 inches of snow and I showed you guys Snow is up to here. I'm gonna take you guys out to my balcony and uh, let's see what it looks like out there I'm kind of scared because I'm in my flip-flops and I'm not really dressed for this Maybe I should put on like snow pants for this, but now nah, we're just gonna go out there. All right, here we go. Get my lights out of the way here. Okay. All right. That could be about 10 inches over there. I mean, most of that is probably drift snow. Doesn't mean it has snow 10 inches, but that is really deep in the middle. We better should try stepping on it. There you go. My first footprints in the snow of 2016. I'll tell you guys this much, if I was to get into a snowball fight with people like downstairs, I would have a lot of ammunition. There's a lot of snow. Oh, I, I see people walking around outside. Hang on a second. Oh my God, there's people, you guys see it? There's, there's actually people wandering out. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, there's some emergency they have to get to because this is like some crazy weather to be outside. You guys in Canada are probably like, this is nothing, what are you guys whining about? Well, this is a lot of snow for this city and we're all told to stay inside for today and tomorrow, you emergency vehicles only, so nobody's getting anywhere. Let's, let me see if I can find my car. There's my car. And uh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. But you know what, I'm kind of enjoying this because we haven't had a big snowstorm yet and I've been looking for an excuse to just stay inside and be all cozy, drink some soup, make some food. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I bought a bunch of food. Um, yesterday I was at the supermarket. It was insane. I was there at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Friday because I figured there's not a lot of people that can be there. The place was packed. Then I tried the Chinese supermarket, even more packed. Um, so today I bought a bunch of food. I'm gonna go inside. Why am I standing on my balcony? This is freezing. Just to tell you guys right now, stepping on that snow was not the brightest idea I've had today. Um, anyway, I bought a bunch of food. I bought a huge, huge piece of pork butt. I'm gonna attempt to make some cha uh, or roast pork. And then um, I bought a bunch of flour, so I'm gonna make this uh, this thing that is kind of like a scotty pancake, but it's not. It's called a show dropping, where it's like a like a multi-layer, twirly, swirly pancake thingy that kind of is like a scallion pancake, but it's really not. Oh, I'll show you what else I got for food. This is my favorite ramen noodle right now. And this is the noodle that people use for a spicy noodle challenge. I just call it lunch, because this is delicious, and I usually eat two packs of this. And that reminds me, I am absolutely starving. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to marinate my uh, pork butt, and I'm gonna cook those uh, layer pancake thingies I was talking about. If they turn out well, I'm gonna put those recipes up at the Strictly Dumpling channel. If they turn out poorly, you'll never hear about them ever again. So that's usually how it works, but you guys do get to hear about it because I'm vlogging about it now. So that's the benefit of, I guess, a vlogging channel. Well, that car is stuck. I don't know why people are out there driving around, especially that looks like a, I think that's a Hyundai or something. Oh my goodness. Even if you have a four wheel drive vehicle, you might get stuck. This guy, I don't, I don't think he's moving. This recipe is a winner. This is really, really, really good. This is the pancake I made out of wheat flour. I mean, if it's healthier, then I will go with this because it tastes really darn good. Mm. Snow is getting worse, and I just got a message on my phone that was sent to, I guess, maybe every single person in New York. And it basically said, uh, we must get off the street. Like, we have to get off the streets by 2.30. And of course, you know, this is New York. I drive what if I want to drive. Like, come on. I mean, this guy is now stuck in the middle of my block and this whole block is basically, that's it. There's no more traffic getting in and he's not going anywhere, so. 
As I was looking at the snow, I forgot I had this thing on the pan and now it's like burnt. Oh my goodness. That sucks. It's about 2.30. Let's check on the snow again. Well, it's uh, still coming down pretty hard. Um, my car, if you can see it. Right there. Barely see it. My car is white and it's now basically completely submerged underneath that snow. And uh, of course that car is still there because, you know, whenever there's a snowstorm, we gotta go and drive around outside. It's about to get dark, so final weather updates. My balcony is officially filled with snow. Well, I mean, I could literally just like do a belly flop onto that snow and be buried inside. Um, outside's crazy, still snowing like crazy. And uh, I think that car that was stuck before, I think it's still there, let me see. Yeah, that car is just, that car's not moving. Good thing is I made a bunch of scallion pancakes, so I'm set. I mean, it's not the most nutritious thing to be eating for two days straight, but it's gonna keep me alive. And uh, if I run out of water, or if my water stops, then, you know, boil some snow. It's Sunday morning, the snow has stopped, the sun is out, so let's take a look outside and see the aftermath of the storm. We're heading onto my belt. What? Look at that. That's probably um, a foot and a half of snow on my balcony. And my neighborhood, everyone's trying to dig their cars out. Not like they can go anywhere because this, the street hasn't been plowed, uh, mainly because uh, of this guy right here. The guy who was uh, stuck yesterday, he's still stuck. And if you can see my car, uh, let's see here. If you can barely see my car because my car is white. And uh, yeah, that's my car. It's not going anywhere. So I'm probably not gonna be able to drive it until Monday or I, I even doubt it Monday, probably Tuesday when it warms up a little bit. So look at this. Crazy stuff. Wow, I mean, it's pretty. It's really pretty with the sun out. The snow is glistening. Everything looks really fun. I mean, I wish I, could, I, I, wish I can go play in it. I wonder if I could just jump into the snow and be all right. Probably not. And yeah, look at my balcony. Oh my goodness. All right, there's only one thing to do in this situation. <laughs> snow angel. We're gonna do a snow trust fall exercise right now. Oh, it's, it's in my hood. It's in my neck. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Ah, that was kind of fun. I think I got enough snow to do one more. Snow trust fall part two. I'm out of my house. Look at this. That's a lot of snow. There's that car that's stranded. And here's my car. Look, it has a nice snow cap on there. Man, that thing is buried. Because I just realized this morning my rent check is in there. I need to get it. So, <laughs> oh, this will be interesting. So it's getting really stiff. Oh, look at that. It's not fluffy and fun anymore. <sighs> ooh, ooh, all right. That's done, that's done. You know what's kind of crazy is that this whole block, because of that one car, is not plowed. So what that means is that, look at this, the road is completely just full of fluffy snow. I think someone could just like jump on this from a second story building and still be okay. It's a happy couple doing a nice 360 selfie. This is just like fresh undisturbed powder. It's good to ski in. Let's try, try walking in here. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, it's going up to my knees. It's going up to my knees. And I don't have snow boots on because oh, I'm supposed to be moving to California and I'm like, why would I need snow boots then? Well, this will be a good, good time to have snow boots. 
Everything is white. I actually need to go to the grocery store because I realized the only thing in my house are buns that I made for my uh, bun video. So I have actually no protein. I don't have anything. My roast pork is still marinating. So I need to make my way. I guess this is what people were like, you know, back before the days of plowing and, and snowmobiles. They just had to walk everywhere and trek in like two feet of snow. I'm inside the supermarket the day after the snowstorm. This is what the shelves look like, at least in the snack aisle. Although the pretzels are still here. Nobody really likes pretzels. And look at the meat aisle. Wow. Finally back home, all my eggs are intact. I found one edible tomato in that whole grocery store. I'm gonna make some soup and just stay in all day because there's nothing worse than after a snowstorm when all the snow starts to melt and turn into this muddied puddle mess. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from that. And that wraps it up for my first vlog on this new vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna keep it updated as often as I can. Thanks so much guys. See you later.